Hello Year 8, it's Mr Godman here, Head of the History Department at Carshalton High School for Girls. And if you're watching this video, it's probably because you've begun to ask yourself, should I choose GCSE History at CHSG? And hopefully this video will help you to make up your mind. When you're making your decision about whether to choose GCSE History, there are four things that you probably need to ask yourself. What will I learn about? How will I be taught? Where will it take me? And will I be good at it? So if you choose GCSE History, you're going to learn about five interesting topics, which we've chosen because they're particularly exciting and fascinating periods of the past. We start our course by investigating medicine in Britain since the year 1250. We investigate all the deadly diseases which people have suffered since the medieval period, such as Black Death, Plague and Cholera. We'll look at what people blame these diseases on and how they tried to cure them. We'll also investigate why surgery was so deadly in the past. After that, we study medicine and surgery in a particular place, the British sector of the Western Front during World War I. You'll find out what it was like to live and fight in the trenches of World War I, and you'll investigate what illnesses and injuries the soldiers suffered. We also discover what experimental new treatments were developed during the First World War. After that, we move on to look at Germany between 1918 and 1939. We'll study why Germany became so unstable after the First World War. And then we'll follow this up by looking at how Hitler and the Nazis came to power. Finally, we'll look at what it was like to live in Nazi Germany, particularly if you were a woman or a child. Then we move on to study superpower relations and the Cold War. We'll investigate how the USA and the USSR became rivals after 1945 and how their rivalry almost led to the destruction of the world in a nuclear war. Then we'll investigate how this Cold War came to an end and ask ourselves who won it. And our final GCSE history topic will be the early Elizabethans. We'll look at what problems faced Elizabeth when she first became queen. We'll investigate how she survived plots against her and attempts to murder her. We'll find out how she ended up at war with Spain. And lastly, we'll investigate why Elizabeth's time as queen is known as a golden age for England. If those topics sound interesting to you, then the next question to ask is, how will you be taught? Now, if you choose GCSE History, you'll be taught by one of the full-time members of the History Department, and we're all subject specialists. And no matter which history teacher you get at GCSE, we all take a very similar approach. This is what you can expect in GCSE History lessons. We'll talk to you about the past in a fascinating way so that you understand it. We'll give you recall activities to improve your knowledge and your memory. We'll always try to present you with interesting sources of evidence and help you to analyse them. We'll prepare activities which encourage you to read and think independently. And of course, we'll set you follow up homework which builds on what we do in class and gives you an opportunity to take your learning further. So if you choose GCSE history, where will it take you? Well, some students might go on to be historians, but most students who take GCSE history don't go down that route. Because history gives you so many useful and transferable skills, 
which employers value very highly. So after doing GCSE history, there are all sorts of career paths which you might go down. Here are just a few of the most common areas where historians work. And don't forget, history is also an excellent subject if you want to go on and study in the sixth form. The final question which you might be asking yourself is, will you be any good at GCSE history? Well, anybody can get better at doing history, but to succeed at GCSE history, there are three qualities which you really do need. Firstly, you need to be the kind of person who enjoys reading and likes reading independently, because as historians, we do a lot of that. Secondly, you need to be the kind of person who enjoys extended writing, including short essays, because in history, that's how we assess you. And lastly, you need to be the kind of person who will work hard to memorise knowledge off by heart. As historians, we have to know lots of stuff. So it's really important that we are able to learn and memorise it. Now, you don't need to be the best in the world at all of these three things, but you do need to be prepared to work very hard at them if you're going to be a success. If you're still unsure whether history is for you or not, email your history teacher. They know you very well. And if you ask them for their advice, they'll be able to give you some personal guidance.